Hey everybody, welcome back to Las Vegas. The Grand Hotels on the Strip gives you a feeling of being in a big city with modern technology and all kinds of incredible stuff. But if you get off the Strip and venture into the city, you'll see a real city. And if you go outside of city limits, you'll see the desert and its own desert beauty. And you'll be reminded once again that Las Vegas sits in a desert. But even in a desert like this, you can find some of the freshest seafood. This is the Oyster Bar at the Palace Station. This is an incredibly popular place. They're always busy. They're open 24 hours a day. And there's usually a line. And sometimes the wait can get up to three hours. But this place is always on the list for people who want to experience some of the freshest seafood and one of the most legendary pan roasts. The pan roast is the most popular item on the menu, although some people from the south swear that the gumbo here is the best they've ever had. This place is based on the Oyster Bar in Grand Central Station of New York City. It's been in operation for 20 years. They only have 18 seats. There are stories of people that fly into Vegas just to try this place and the pan roast. People talk about how they set their alarms for 3 a.m. or 4 a.m., 5 a.m., 6 a.m. just to get here when there's not much of a line so they can experience this incredible oyster bar. I've had friends tell me that the oysters and the seafood here are more fresh than anything they've had and they live in coastal cities. There have been celebrities spotted dining incognito just to come here. I came here on a Sunday morning at 10.15 a.m. I only waited 30 minutes and people were saying we got lucky. The people here this morning were telling me that the wait is usually a lot longer, two to three hours. The oysters were indeed fresh and they were awesome. You can get the oysters here for about $17 for a half dozen and $25 for a dozen. They also have your classic favorites and they even have a secret menu which they put on the menu by popular demand. It's called a buoy roast. It just doesn't tell you what it is. The oyster bar experience in Las Vegas is way more than you can imagine, especially in the hotels. And not just here, I've had some great oyster bar experiences in other casinos. Even if you don't like oysters, there are plenty of things on the menu that will impress you. They have a pretty large menu with some really good seafood. I love the cocktail sauce with the horseradish, but sometimes I'll go straight Tabasco. Back from my days in New York, I learned to do this. And here is the pan roast. You can get a few different kinds and you also add a spice level to it. I went with the level six and then later I found out a lot of people recommend a seven. The people next to me got eights. The six was a little bit mild for my level of spiciness, but the pan roast is the item I've been hearing about for years and years and years. People swear by it. People say it's the best thing they've ever had. The people I met here told me it was like nectar of the gods. Can you believe that? And sometimes I wondered, are people just brainwashed or is it really that good? When I hear a lot about something, it usually builds it up for me. And I start having this expectation that when I taste this, it's going to put me in another world. It's going to make me high. It's going to put me in some kind of a euphoria that's otherworldly. So I kind of tend to build it up in my mind more and more and more until it becomes unreal. But I'll tell you, the pan roast was incredibly amazing. What exactly is a pan roast? The menu says that it's a creamy tomato stew cooked with your choice of seafood finished with a hint of brandy. The creamy tomato flavor is not overpowering. Don't think it's a spaghetti sauce. It provides a nice base with the seafood and the brandy and the way they reduce it or stew it or cook it. However they make it, the flavor is amazing. I got the combo, which is shrimp, crab and lobster. The flavor is to die for. But on this day, I didn't eat too much because there was another place I had to try. I saw some impressive photos on Facebook and I had to go try this other place. I'm at Big Sur Oyster Bar at the South Point Hotel. They have half-priced oysters and clams until 4 p.m. daily. And as you saw, they have a lot more seats and even some tables. 
And best of all, when I arrived here, there was no line, no waiting at all. The oysters and clams looked fabulous, and they were extremely fresh. Even the lemon was fancy. It was a whole half a lemon and came with a net so it could catch all the seeds and the pulp as you squeeze it. I was pleasantly surprised to find a lump crab cocktail here. At Palace Station it was on the menu but they were out of the crab. I ordered the lump crab cocktail and the shrimp cocktail because the shrimp looked huge. The prices aren't cheap because both of these cost $19 each. So the shrimp cocktail you get three so that's about a little over six dollars per shrimp. But they were big and fresh and tasted so good. I loved the shrimp cocktail here. If you had shrimp cocktail in Vegas, sometimes they use the tiny bay shrimp with a lot of lettuce and cocktail sauce with a lot of horseradish. That's the Las Vegas style shrimp cocktail, but you can also find these giant shrimp cocktails also. I really like the bigger shrimp, although those little ones aren't bad. The big shrimp cocktail is really good. The lump crab came chilled. I think it was Dungeness crab and they give you a pretty good amount. There's lettuce at the bottom of the lump crab but it was still a good amount of crab meat. This place is not 24 hours. They're open from 11 a.m. to 1 a.m. and that's as of January 2022. They have the half-priced oysters and clams until 4 p.m. and they also have lunch specials here like a seafood linguine for $10 or a Cajun pasta. On today's lunch menu, they also had fish tacos, grilled salmon burger, grilled tilapia. I'm not sure if the lunch menu changes, but that's what they had today. If you want to look at the full menu, I'll post some pictures of the menu at the end of the video. Then you can pause it and see what they have, or you can check the link in the description. As you can see, they had pretty big pieces of crab meat. I'm probably not the type to get this all the time. It's only when I'm in the mood and same with the oysters. But if you're in the mood for oysters or clams, I recommend you try out this place. The quality is excellent here. There are a few other places that have really good oysters, but for some reason, the oyster bars in the hotels always seem to impress me. I'm always surprised at how incredibly fresh they are. I don't crave this every day. I go in phases. I'll have my steak stage. I'll have my fast food stage. I'll have my salad stage. No matter how good the food is, you can't eat it every day. You'll get tired of it. Usually it's my mind or body or TV commercials that make me think about a certain type of food and I start wanting to eat it. I get in the mood for it. I start to crave it. And food always tastes the best when you're craving it or when you're in the mood for it. And that's why they have that saying that hit the spot. If I'm in the mood for fresh oysters on a half shell, I think I found my new favorite place. This place was incredibly great. I love this place. If I can find something to complain about, the clams were a little bit small. The oysters were fairly large. They weren't the fancy type. And some people say the fancy types that are smaller taste better. I don't know. I really love the oysters here. I found that the menu here was a little bit bigger, had more to offer than Palace Station. Look at this fish and chips. This is halibut. But there is one item that I came here to eat, and that is the bouillabaisse. I was reading some reviews about this place, and this one lady was going on and on about how incredible the bouillabaisse was. She said the bouillabaisse here was the best she had ever had, and her husband was trained in a French culinary school. To make a long story short, she convinced me that this was something I had to try here. And I wasn't disappointed. The fish in here was halibut, it had clams and mussels. This is fish and seafood simmered with leeks and a white wine sauce flavored with perno and saffron. Saffron is supposed to be quite expensive. I think it's one of the most expensive seasonings per pound. I'm not an expert in cooking or seasoning, but I can tell you I'm an expert in knowing what I like. And I love this. This was really good. This was better than I expected. I would put this up there with the pan roast at Palace Station. Now I know when you have a reputation like the pan roast at Palace Station, you say you can't beat it. But the Buya base here is definitely something you have to try. It was super, super good. And as I said earlier, here are the pictures of the menu. You can push pause if you want to take a longer look or you can just click the links in the description. Their menu's pretty big. They have some really good looking items. I wanted to try so many things. 
I was told that the Chapino here was really good. They even had things like lobster rolls and lobster grilled cheese. Just a whole bunch of things that sounded really good. But there's no way I could eat all of it in one visit. So I'm definitely planning on coming back. But I'm out of time. And that's going to do it for this one. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.